case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for a harrowing case of child molestation saw ronald k st pierre who was found guilty of sexually abusing his 12 year old stepdaughter therese over a period of a year after being sentenced to concurrent terms of 11 years on each charge, St. Pierre contested his conviction, arguing the court mishandled the evidence and failed to appoint expert witnesses in his favor. The alleged abuse started when Therese was only 11 years old, transforming into a year-long nightmare marked by more than 50 instances of sexual intercourse. It wasn't until Therese confided in her mother at a church shelter that these despicable acts came to light and were subsequently supported by a physical examination. St. Pierre's appeal challenged the court on two significant grounds. First, he insisted that evidence of Therese's introduction to pornography could clarify her sexual knowledge, which the court had excluded. Secondly, he contended for a second expert witness, alleging that the court infringed on his due process rights by failing to assign another psychologist to assess the victim. However, the court dismissed his arguments, ruling that the trial court's decision to exclude certain evidence was fair and not an abuse of its discretion. Similarly, St. Pierre's claim that the court abused his due process rights by not assigning an additional psychologist was discarded. The government had arranged for a clinical psychologist to analyze the victim, and no further requests for additional analyses were made by St. Pierre. Moreover, the trial judge was found to have acted within his discretion when denying St. Pierre's request for an expert to determine if he fitted the profile of a sexual offender. While expert testimonials could be helpful in some cases, the court upheld that the burden fell on St. Pierre to show its necessity for proper defense and its acceptance by the scientific community. In a critical application of Rule 404B of the Federal Rules of Evidence, the court authorized the revelation of further sexual relations between the man and his stepdaughter beyond those mentioned in the charges. The court twice cautioned the jury to constrain the use of such evidence only to define the defendant's intention and opportunity to commit the indicted acts. The Court of Appeals affirmed that the district judge had made no errors in his rulings and orders. Consequently, the original judgment stood, leaving St. Pierre's conviction and sentence in place. This case served as a precedent illustrating the stringent prerequisites for admissibility and the necessity of expert testimonials in court hearings. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class. 